Hello YouTube, this is Cyber Aquarius and it's water change Friday night. I'm going to show you guys how I do or how I'm going to do uh, water change on my 150 gallon aquarium. From now on I won't have to tote any more buckets with the exception of one. Uh, I'm going to use one bucket of uh, aquarium water to rinse my pre-filters and the biomedia from my Marineland C360 canister filter. But other than that, uh, I don't have to carry any more buckets to drain or fill the aquarium. Back when uh, Big Munoz 11 and Dolly VH co-sponsored a contest, they picked me as the winner for the uh, water change system that I outlined for them. And they, they gave me $70 towards the purchase of the item that I needed to perform my water changes and uh, I have to do things a little differently than the way I outlined them in my video. I'm going to have to keep it simple. I don't have a sink down in my basement and I have to use deionized water for my water changes now because my tap water has very high amounts of silicates. You see the diatoms are all gone. That's because I've been using deionized water for my water changes. Okay, uh, let me show you what I'm doing. Instead of using my 75 gallon aquarium, I purchased a 55 gallon continental food safe trash can. And I've uh, collected my deionized water. I have a sink upstairs in the hallway and I run an airline tube down, all the way down into this. And it takes a little more than a day to fill up and just above this line here, the, the rim, I've uh, measured it out and that's uh, 41 gallons to that line. I'm doing, I, I dose this water for 40 gallons, but the one extra gallon is in case I go just a little more than uh, what I actually need to take out of the aquarium. Just, you know, just to make sure that I top off my aquarium all the way. But what I do is I add three teaspoons of Cichlid Lake Salt by Sea Kim and eight teaspoons of Sea Kim's Malawi Victoria Buffer. It gets the pH to 8.2 and the carbonate hardness and general hardness to 11 degrees. To mix up the water, I'm using a Marineland MJ 1200 and the item that I bought with the money the Dolly VH and Big Munoz awarded me, I bought a mag drive 9.5 and I'm using it to circulate the water I've got it running right now and this is also going to be how I'm going to my aquarium this is going to hang over the edge of the aquarium I'll show you how I do that but right now I'm just uh, mixing up the water and I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, drain hose hooked up I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that so let me go ahead and get that hooked up and I'll, I'll run you through that. Okay, just outside my front door here, uh, I've hooked up a three quarter inch OD by five eighths ID hose to a hose barb with a ball valve and a 90 degree coupling tapped into the cap of my sewer clean out. And I've run the hose through the, through the front door here and hooked up uh, extra large Aquion gravel vac and I'm going to go ahead and drain the water down to my my mag scraper here. Uh, I did it the other day or last week with my last water change and marked off the 40 gallon mark so I'll drain the water to that level and then I'll begin filling it back up. So I'm going to go ahead and, and siphon the aquarium now doing a gravel vac I'm going to vacuum the gravel as I go and I've collected a bucket of water using a smaller gravel vac so that I can rinse my pre-filters and the media from my C360. Water is going out the front door. Let me go ahead and go ahead and uh, vacuum the gravel. Okay, I just go through and vacuum the gravel, getting any waste that's left on the bottom. And at this time I try to level up the substrate where the cichlids have dug moved it around and I've got plenty of uh, plenty of suction here 
We got the largest gravel vac that uh, Aquion markets. Moves a lot of water, takes a lot of wa water out very quickly. So uh, I'll just do this, like I said, until it reaches the the mark over there, my my magnetic uh, scraper. So, all right, keep doing this, and once I get it down to that mark, I'll uh, show you how I'm gonna fill up the aquarium. Okay, now that the water has been drained out of the aquarium, I'm gonna go ahead and pump the water from the reservoir into the aquarium. I'm just gonna flip this switch here. Should go ahead and fill up the aquarium all the way to the weir box. So I'm gonna let this run. I think last time, last week, it took like three minutes, but to conserve time on this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and shut the camera off and I'll show you after I get everything, after I get the aquarium filled up. I just finished changing out approximately 25% of the volume of my aquarium. I did a 40 gallon water change in approximately 20 minutes. It used to take me about 45 minutes to do a 15 gallon water change, toting buckets from the second floor down here to the first floor of my house. And my, my uh, volume has been increased with the uh, time being decreased. It's made my life a lot easier. I'd like to thank Big Munoz 11 and Dolly VH once again for giving me the prize money, allowing me to buy the, the major component for my water changes, which was the MD 9.5. Really appreciate it, guys. It made my life a lot easier. And um, just really excited about maintaining this aquarium now. It's not such a chore have more time to enjoy the fish, sit back and relax. And um, I got some uh, some more fish coming next Saturday from Quinn's Fins, six more African cichlids coming in. And that'll probably do it for the stocking on this aquarium. That'll put me at about 20, 24 to 25 cichlids and one Pocostomus. So I think I'm gonna stop there unless I get rid of a couple, then I might order some more, but that's gonna be about my limit. The filtration that I have would handle more than that, but I don't wanna crowd the fish too much. So guys, I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks for your support and your comments. Have a great day. Thanks to all my subscribers. Have a great day. Yeah, and everybody have a great day.